Well, good morning. I'm Mojo Morris Jones, and I haven't been introducing myself or putting a super on the YouTube screens or anything like that. And I now have 100 followers on YouTube, which I never thought I'd have in my life, but that's pretty cool. Uh, welcome. Thank you. I uh, hope you enjoy the archive. Uh, and we're going to talk about, we, we're in a series of defense uh, lessons. And this morning, we're going to talk for probably the next week or two, we're going to talk about uh, third hand play. Um, let me share a screen. I'm going to mute everybody. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about when you play third hand. Now, when you by third hand, what I mean is that your partner has led the suit. Your partner has made a lead to a trick. And um, here's an example. For instance, am I sharing the right screen? Yes. Okay, good. Um, say your partner leads the five of spades, and this is your holding. On your right, you can see the dummy, the eight, six, four in spades, and let's say declare plays the four. So now the, the saying that's passed down even from whist is third hand high, meaning you need to play the highest card you have the, that is good enough to win the trick. And, and the reasons for that are pretty clear. For one thing, you're the last one of your side to play to the trick. So you need to make your best effort. Uh, if I, so we're going to, we're going to play the ace here, but what happens if we don't play the ace? Let me um, suggest that uh, if say we play the 10, if we were to play the 10 on this trick, the Clara now would win a trick with the queen. Uh, and they're not entitled to that trick. Uh, let, let me back this up and, and show it again. Partner leads the five. Uh, Declarer calls for a small card from the dummy. And you play your ace, a third hand high, it's correct. Now, what do you do after that? The, uh, usually the correct thing when you have a doubleton left in the suit is you lead the high card of your doubleton. And now let's look at all of the cards and see what happens. Suppose Declarer plays the nine. What does your partner play? Well, they play the jack and it wins the trick. They can see the dummy. The jack is, is plenty high enough. Um, suppose Declare plays the queen. Well, partner plays their king. And that wins the trick because they can see the dummy. And in fact, they'll win the king uh, and then play their jack. And you get all the tricks in the suit. So you see here, if you didn't play third hand high, you would be uh, giving a trick to Declare that they're not entitled to. And that's, that's the whole key. That's the key to a successful defense. Now, let's say that you didn't have the ace. Let's look at this one. Partner again leads the five. Declare plays the four from the dummy. Is it right to play your queen? It may look like you're, you're giving it away. But let's look at all of the cards again. And here's that ace that we had before. This time it's in Declare's hand. Now, Declare is always entitled to a trick with that ace. Uh, and there's no way you're going to stop him from getting one. But if you didn't play third hand high here, suppose you played the nine, now Declare doesn't have to play their ace at all. They can win a trick with the 10. And now Declare is winning two tricks in the suit that they weren't entitled to. They're getting, they're entitled to one, they're not entitled to two. So playing third hand high is, is pretty important in this situation. Um, let's see. Let's look at a, a slightly different situation. And I've added some extra diamonds uh, just so we can uh, work out uh, the play of the hand. Sometimes it's important when you um, when you play your third hand, you, your third hand high, you, you play the queen in this instance and you try to win the trick. Declarer wins with the ace, of course. Let me show all the cards. But notice now that um, it's fairly important to your partner that you are the next one to lead to the suit, it, it almost doesn't matter. But in, the, in this instance, in fact, you can see that if either one of you wins a trick, um, in fact, if, if your partner wins a trick, since they know that uh, you, have the, you had the queen and the queen is gone, they've seen the ace and the queen fall, they can now play their king and um, their jack and they get all the rest of the tricks in the suit. Okay, we're gonna look at this and, and um, I'm gonna have you practice a little bit. If you can find your, your annotation button, um, you're, all been, you're all sitting here, you have the ace, the eight and the four. Let's say the partner leads the five in this suit, Declare plays the three. What card are you going to play now? Okay, we see some, there we go. A few annotations. The ace is correct. 
Now, when you win the ace, what card do you lead back? The eight. Yeah. And uh, notice now that uh, your partner has the queen and the 10, the queen and the 10 covered nicely by the king and the jack. All right, let's do it one more time. Partner leads the five. It's your turn to play. You can clear the annotations a little bit. Uh, you're all on top of it. Third hand high, that's pretty easy, good. And, um, and now, let's see, clear all the drawings. Uh, we lead back, it loses to the ace. But later on, we can lead back. If we get in, we'll lead the seven. And then notice that the jack is, is captured by partners queen and 10. One more of these, and then we're going to move on. Let's clear the drawings. OK. Partner leads the five. The declarer plays the three from the dummy. What card do you play? Look at the dummy before you choose. And it is important to play the king here. Let's look at all of the cards and see what would happen if you didn't play the king. Suppose you put in the 10, notice that it would lose to the jack and you've given declare an extra trick. Okay, let's clear this. And let me show you a little bit of detail about third hand high because we all know that you wanna play third hand high to a trick, but there are, there's a core, there are several corollaries to the rule, which is only as high as necessary. <laughs> Thank you, Liza. In this instance, Let's <laughs> let me uh, let's look at when you play the jack and when you play the queen. Now here you have touching honors in this instance, so uh, you don't have to play the queen. You only have to play the jack, and it's actually important to do so. Let me show you the rest of the cards. If we play, um, let's see the four, the three. If we play the jack, let me show all of the cards. Notice the declarer is now going to win with the ace. Now, this is important for you to play the jack because your partner needs to know where the queen is. Let me flip around to the other side and show you what uh, show you this from your partner's perspective. Reset the auction. I'm gonna lead the four. Declare calls for a, a small card from the dummy. Partner plays the jack. Now, look at this. When declarer wins with the ace, which they're about to do. The question that I have in my mind is where is the queen? Who has the queen? Oh, not the, not the mine. I want the jack, the ace. Where is the queen? Um, now the queen is in one of two locations. It's either in our partner's hand or in declarer's hand. If declarer was holding the queen, if declarer were holding the queen, they would not have played the ace on the first trick, right? The queen would have been high enough to win because they don't have the king. I can see the king right here in my hand. By playing the jack, the bottom of your touching honors, you help your partner discover the rest of the cards in your hand. You can, you can see that um, you're letting partner know that you have the queen. Um, suppose you didn't have the queen and the jack. Let's do it this way. Again, we lead the four. Declare plays the three from the dummy. Partner plays the queen. Now, to me, the important question is, where is the jack? If we know that our partner is going to play the bottom card from touching honors, then we know that by playing the queen, they're denying holding the jack. So we know that the jack is in this hand. And that's a very important bit of knowledge. Now, declarer wins with the ace. And if we look at the rest of the cards, you can see here's the jack. And we now have the jack trapped with our king and 10. And we need our partner to lead the suit on the next lead. We need them to lead. So we, want, we don't want to be um, on lead and leading hearts in the next time. If we lead hearts, we're going to be leading up to the jack. And it's going to win a trick. If we play our king, it sets up the jack. If we lead low, the jack wins. On the other hand, if our partner can lead hearts, the jack now will be trapped between our king and 10. So we have a nice little trap there. So the corollary to third hand high is only as high as necessary. Another way to think of this, by the way, we know that if you have a sequence of touching honors, we lead the top card, right? But if we're following suit as third hand, we play from the bottom. So think of it this way, lead from the top, follow from the bottom. Lead from the top, follow from the bottom. It's another quick and easy way to remember that. Let me move back over to the east hand and look at, let's look at one more example. 
Partner leads the four of hearts. Declare plays the three from the dummy. What card do you play? It's important to look at the dummy before you choose a card. Normally, of course, we would want to play third hand high. But the corollary, third hand only as high as necessary, would mean the jack. Because the jack can't lose to the queen. The queen is right here. It hasn't been played. So it's, I mean, we can see the card that's high enough to win the trick. It's just important to note, to look, to notice. The queen is right there. Um, all right, let's practice this with some hands because this is, this is fun. Uh, partner leads the five in this instance. Declarer plays the three. What card do you play? You can go ahead and note this one. There you go, it's the 10. That's right. Um, let's do another one. Partner leads the two. Let me clear the annotations, clear the drawings. Declare plays the three from the dummy. What card do you play here? It's the 10, that's right. Um, that's because the jack, we can see the jack here in the dummy. Right, exactly. Let's look at this one. Partner leads the two, declare pulls the three. What card do you play? Uh, okay, some of you are changing your mind after you see. Uh, it is the king, right? We have to play third hand high in this instance. Um, we. We don't know where the queen is. Either our partner has it or declarer has it. And in fact, if we look at all the cards, we can see that uh, the declarer is holding the queen. Now, in this instance, with the queen in this, with the king in this position, that's the only trick you're getting. Declarer is always getting the queen and the ace. And so you're doing the best you can. Uh, but you need to take this trick. Uh, in fact, if you don't take the trick, you may be in a situation where you where you can't get any trick any tricks in the suit. Um, Declare, I mean, your partner has led to your suit. It's a good time to take it. Let me see if, okay. Well, that's, that's going to be it for today. Third hand high, only as high as necessary. If we have any questions, I'm happy to take them. And uh, we'll continue with third hand play next week with a little bit more. And meanwhile, this afternoon, if you're third hand, play your high card, but only as high as necessary. <laughs>